This week on my podcast, I dropped an episode about a woman who stabbed her husband 193 times, and that's not even the crazy part. She claimed her husband, who weighed 100 pounds more than her, was going to attack her with a knife after he raped her, and she kicked him in the balls and grabbed the knife from him and just began stabbing, stabbing, stabbing. In the middle of her, straddled on top of her husband, stabbing him to death, her son knocks on the door, and so she has to abruptly stop what she's doing to put him back to bed. She ties one of Jeff's arms to the bed, just to, because she thinks he might still be alive, puts her son back to bed and grabs a fresh knife from the kitchen and comes back and just keeps stabbing, stabbing, stabbing. Afterwards, she pulls Jeff's body off the bed, ties him to a dolly, and then transports him to the backyard where Jeff had just dug a hole for a fountain. So she buries him in this really shallow grave and then proceeds to begin cleaning up the crime scene. She bleaches the bedroom, touches up the paint, and even cuts out a big chunk of carpet. She maintained the whole time she was cleaning up the crime scene, she was afraid that Jeff was still alive and gonna wake up at any minute. To explain Jeff's disappearance, she actually goes to the police station and files a domestic violence report against Jeff saying that he attacked her and then ran off. She also got a restraining order. Then she drained their bank account, took him off their voice message, and just went with the story that he took off and she doesn't know what happened to him, even though his truck is in the driveway, people. However, her whole plan unfolds when the Rottweiler digs Jeff up out of their backyard. Susan Lucille Wright turned herself in claiming self-defense. However, evidence did not point to self-defense. In fact, it looked like that she seduced him, tied him to their bedpost for some sexy foreplay, dripped candle wax on him, and then blitz attacked him, stabbing him 193 times. Listen to the episode and let me know what you think.